people Abela David is my name welcome to my Excel lecture video in this lecture video I want to show us how we can create a dynamic advanced condition formatting with data validation so let's see how to go about that so I have my table from a company these are all the customer names and these are all the regions that we have the customers so by the time I apply data validation and conditional formatting all the customers from the south will be highlighted so when I change it from my cell G6 to west or north or central all the regions will be highlighted and the customers information so let's get started I'm going to click into cell G6 and as the rule of formatting is we have to select all the cells that we want to format or the cell one format so I'm going to come here and use Ctrl Shift right and down arrows. Then I'm just going to scroll up a bit. I'm just going to increase this a bit so that you can see it clearly. Then I'm going to come to my home tab in my stars group. I'm going to click on the drop down of the condition formatting button. Then I'm going to click on new rule and I have this. And I'm going to use click on use a formula. To determine which cells to format then in this I'm going to use some reference so my first formula is going to be equal d3 however this is absolute cell reference but I want it to be mixed reference in other words I want to lock the rows and allow the column to be unlocked therefore I'm going to press on my keyboard F4 key twice one two so i have the dollar sign in front of the column d <coughs> and the row is okay then i'm going to press equal again so i'm going to choose cell g6 so that is absolute fantastic then come to my format in the front tab i want it to be bold come to the fill color and I'm going to choose this as the fill column for the conditional format to be applied and click OK and click OK. So fantastic. However, nothing has happened to my table. So the one more thing which is dynamic that I want to do is to apply this condition data validation. So I'm going to click back into cell G6 and I'm going to come to the data tab. In the data tools, I'm going to click on data validation. In the settings, validation criteria, allow what? I'm going to click this drop down. So I want to allow a list. Then I have data between, and my source is going to be this helper cell. So I'm going to select everything and click OK. Nothing has happened yet. However, I have this filter like button here. So these are all the regions that I have so if I click on south all the regions of south and the customer name will be highlighted so I'm going to click on south so you can see it has highlighted it this is wonderful and we can see I'm going to scroll down so we're going to have few customers from south and I'm going to choose second one west wow we have a couple of customers from the west so you can see so this is dynamic part of the excel i'm going to choose east so you can see these are the customer from the east quite a few of them north few of them and central so this is essentially how we can create advanced condition of formatting that is dynamic with data validation. Thank you for watching my video. Bye for now.